Up next on Record TV. beautiful people welcome to this amazing love show heartbeat I'm glad to have you part of the show thanks for joining me once again I am asking for your attention lovely people welcome back from work and whatever you've been doing I hope you had a blast you had a good day for those whose day has not been all that good just don't lose hope because you have tomorrow and the other day just keep working harder for those that have, uh, had traveled today I mean you went somewhere and now you're back seated on the show. Thanks for joining me. It's a love show in the house right now to take you through love issues. Probably we do not talk about only issues, but also those ones who want to celebrate their love, their time of courtship, their time of relationship, their probably marriage. Well, I know you're going to enjoy the show. Just keep it right there. We have amazing jams, most especially country music. I mean, this is a music that has been left out, but people love it. I love the song. It is coming in from Black Shelton called Gonna. It's one of his latest videos. It's so amazing. But very unfortunate, people were dissing the video that it doesn't match with the audio. But audio is absolutely amazing. Going out to whoever who is watching the show today. My name is Judy M. Nanyanzi to take you through in these 55 minutes, fully packed for you. I know you're going to have fun with me. But probably we have... Um, uh, an issue here. Someone wrote to us a letter that I'm going to take you through that later, just in the meantime. But again, today on the show, I have this amazing person who will be joining me later that we shall be taking you through this um, later. Meanwhile, seeking for solutions here and there for whoever who has gone through such a situation. We are um, actually anticipating that you'll be participating in the show, giving us your opinion on how to go about this problem. Because I know many of you must have gone through quite such a situation. But you know how you've done it. You know what you've done to make sure you sustain your marriage for some good time. Yes, that's the advice that we really want. For those ones who are single and searching, hey, my dear, this is the show for you. We normally give you a platform. You can as well call the line, our studio line, and tell us which kind of person you really want. And probably, if you're free with it, say out your number for whoever interested in you to give you a buzz and probably meet somewhere and hook up. You might never know you're meeting your true soulmate who is going to be with you for the rest of your time. Well, for, for those who have parties, for example, pre-wedding, engagements, birthday parties, I mean, you want to propose your girlfriend, make sure you are alone. You don't have a competitor. <laughs> I've turned down my voice because I know some people out there are so misbehaving. I mean, you have multiple partners. You don't want to settle. You don't want this commitment because you think it's risky. You don't want to take it. Well, it's high time that you change because this show has come to change your life as well. Yes, before going any further, I want to introduce to you a letter today. There's a certain lady who wrote to us a letter. Just give me your ears and probably watch. Get to hear what she's going through and which advice is she asking for. Probably you might have any opinion, advice somewhere, somehow, where necessary. However much, um, she's the one to, to make a decision because we only give 
um, advice here and there. It only her to make or take a decision. Just go through what we've told her and she actually makes a decision herself. We don't want to be a decision maker in her life. Well, check out this later. I'll be back shortly. I've been in a relationship for almost one and a half years with a good-hearted guy that I'm in love with. We are both in our mid-twenties. We've been through a lot together and we live together. We have a lot in common and I can see a bright loving future with him. We have occasional to frequent issues. When things are good, they are great. When they are bad, they are awful. He has a hard time trusting me. I think it has a lot to do with his past. His parents had him very young and they only stayed together for about a year after he was born. They did not show him a lot of genuine affection and care growing up and he did not have a stable life. He also has had bad relationships where the girlfriend betrayed him emotionally, physically, and even financially, which I understand, but most people deal with at least one bad relationship experience. When something goes a little sour with us, he overreacts. He also assumes the worst about me, that I am lying about being faithful, and he seems to expect to find out negative things about me. He will have outbursts, where he's mean and irrational. He has also recently been feeling very depressed. He's an emotional person, and I knew that from the get-go, but I don't feel that I deserve any of his skepticism. I've been nothing but honest and trusty within our relationship. I've worked very hard to make things work in our relationship. I tolerate a lot of his doubts and reassures him when he asks about things. Although now I doubt whether I should have kept doing so after a certain point. I pick my battles, walk away when I see we need to cool off. And I also took my current job in order to afford an apartment together. It's not my ideal job. I've suggested therapy, but he refuses. I suggested other methods to try feel better, but he ignores me and says I'm pushing him. He hasn't tried anything to overcome his negative feelings lack of trust or depression. I know it's beyond my control, but I am starting to feel helpless. I can't understand why he's letting this continue when he's harming our relationship. I don't know what else to do. I have thoughts about breaking things off, but I can't stand the thought of being without him. What do I do? I am so helpless. Please heartbeat help me. My name is Rita. Thanks for watching. Quite emotional later that everyone out there, there might be those that are tearing just because of that later. Yes, problems are there and so many people are going through quite a lot. Yet they don't have any person to share their problem with and they feel that this is the platform for them, for them to be helped, to feel at home, to be sympathized with and actually find a solution on how they can go about their relationship. What is so sad about this is um, they are all in their mid-twenties, still young. But again, one and a half years, actually look at this year um, as time of courtship. That's why we phrased our topic today, asking that um, 
uh, what do you think is the best time for commitment? I mean, how, how best would you actually consider yourself knowing your partner? Probably that is time enough for you to commit yourself in a marriage, that long time commitment. What is the best time for courtship? Is it one year, two years? There are those that you can give even 10 years and the person hides their bad behaviors. Until you get married, married then someone changes drastically whereby you can't even hang in there. It's quite very unfortunate that it's, it's a young couple that this young girl decided to move in with this young boy before they even decided or getting married. That's the first mistake. It's really a big mistake. You're, you're supposed to first wait until you get married. One and a half years is just period small and just very small. And it's not time enough for you to understand that the person you're engaging yourself is either positive in ways of behaving or negative or has some bad behaviors that you won't even stand there, not even for a day because um, that person is very horrible. Some people date for five years, six years, and they think that time will be just enough for them to engage themselves for a lifetime commitment, and that's marriage. Then how about this one, that they've been together for only one and a half years. They've been illegally married. How would you move in with a man before you get married? Okay, I've seen families like that, because probably nowadays, they cry of um, uh, poverty, that they don't have money to make these introductions. They actually look, they look at them like something of um, wastage of time and money. They even ask you that, um, haven't you seen families that are not legally married together, or they've stayed even longer than those that have made those expensive weddings, very expensive introduction ceremonies. But hey, let's go back to what Rita is asking for. The man is very emotional. She even thought because um, this is um, a boy who didn't grow up with both parents in this stable family, that the time he was born, he, the mother actually separated uh, with the dad and um, he grew up with just a single, single parent. But we've been seeing families raising their children single-handedly uh, like um, a parent, like a mother, because I've seen so many single mothers out there raising their children morally. Um, like, you're disciplined. You show that as if your dad was there, but she was only a mother that raised you up. This cannot actually justify the fact that um, the guy behaves so badly just because he grew up with just a single parent. I don't think so. But again, um, what has forced her to come up with all this is that the, the guy is misbehaving. She actually feels that um, she wants to throw in the towel and actually move on. But she can't live without the boy. That's another question. Well, that's what we're going to drill at. We're going to discuss more about that and see how we can help Rita out there. And whoever who is in the same situation, probably same age bracket, the youth, because this show is basically for the youth out there. Yes, if you're no longer a youth and you've been through quite such a situation, we actually consider you very vital because you're the right person to give us advice and see how Rita can go about her relationship. She feels she cannot leave this man, but the man is misbehaving. She even thought of therapy, but the guy doesn't want. Can you imagine? And she feels she can't do anything extra. That's why she's seeking for advice. Reach us on our um, social media platforms. We have um, our Facebook page, Record TV Network Uganda Limited. You can as well um, post your advice, uh, probably your opinion, anything, on our Facebook page, Record TV Heartbeats. Like it and then comment on our topic of discussion. It's already posted there. Well, just at this right time, we are going in for a short break. But when we come back, I'm going to come back with a guest and drill more into Rita's problem. Keep it right there.
2019 is the top 9 people on your girl Tino bringing you the best things show what's on as in the best live on your TV set every single Saturday 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. In Teen Strat, we bring you Kat Duncan, Miss Teen, and for you, my bad days in school, we got you covered in your prom parties, sports, and debates. In Innovations, we bring you teens in business roles, that success, and inspiration. In Fashion, we bring you what to wear and what to avoid on a particular gig. on the field. Witness the pain and determination. Experience every tackle. And feel the emotion of the crowd. senses with lifelike detail and clarity and intense surround sound. Bring your love of sport to life. Welcome back. I had the best of intentions. Beautiful jam coming in from a guy called Travis Tripi. Well, it's a beautiful song that uh, goes in line with the letter for today. It, it has a very good story, very good storyline. Like um, it speaks about um, him being imprisoned, and he had not fulfilled his um, his intentions of loving this woman and she kept on clinging there waiting for the man to come out probably it's a very nice song going out to you Rita who wrote to us a letter well in studio I have this beautiful lady very outspoken and shy I'm glad to introduce to you ladies and gentlemen Liz just besides me Liz you're welcome to the show Thank you, Julie. How are you? I'm very you're fine. Awesome. Thank you. <laughs> um, it's a pleasure to join you. I'm really glad Julie has already. Do you just say this show is for single people and it's like you? <laughs> um, they're also part of it. No, they're not in the right place. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Anyway, welcome to the heartbeat. I'm Liz. Of course, I come in as the love advisor. Yes. By the way, like can I tell you something? Uh -huh. uh, I have friends, uh, like my friends somewhere, mm. someplace, usually when we are there they call me the love doctor. It's I honor. like that, are you sure? The love doctor. <laughs> and uh, it's such a pleasure that um, actually on this lovely show, again mm. doing the same thing, especially at my expertise. Um. <laughs> so just sit back, relax and enjoy the show. It's the heartbeat. Of course I'm going to take you throughout this show with Julie and uh, we shall be talking about love so just feel the power of love we're going to send it through the tv right to you thank you so much liz you're looking good thank you did anyone tell you thank that you. 
Yes. Who? Mm, my, my, my husband. I know. <laughs> I thought you were going to blend. Yeah, I'm like, <laughs> my, my friend, as if you don't have the other one. My husband. Yes, yes. Um, you had the letter for today. Yeah. Probably 25 years, 26. They're in their mid 20s. Mid 20s, yeah. They're Same mid. age. She's wow. crying out this love gone wrong, love gone wrong relationship. Yes. She moved in with a man at only one and a half years and together. Half years, She's yeah. complaining. Isn't it too early to complain, really? Yeah, definitely. Too. Has she seen anything? It's definitely too early. I will not say that it's too early. You see mm. these love things. Um, someone may even take a longer time than that and still they fail to understand each other completely. And so, and someone may take a shorter time and if even just, or maybe even half a year, and you find that they are perfectly together. So these love things are a bit complicated when it comes to the timing. Though, I mm. think the longer the time, the better. So one and exactly. a half years. Exactly. That's what I was waiting for. One and a half years, I think it's just small time yeah. for Rita to begin complaining right now. Sure, sure. But probably, maybe she must have gone through also um, a failed relationship somewhere, somehow, before she fell in love with this man. However much she did not tell us all that. She only told us that she thinks the guy is, is depressed mm. because um, his ex also mistreated, yeah, mistreated him. mistreated him, left him uh, physically betrayed, and emotionally. And exactly. Betrayed, yeah. But she has not told us her story, her other story. Yeah. Like maybe she has also ever been in a relationship and things never worked out. And could they have bumped into this relationship first and foremost? Were they ready? I mean, have they, did they date for some time to move in together? Well, she didn't mention it, uh, mm. that they had actually dated for some time and then moved in. But I think uh, they rushed into, you know, you see, sometimes, okay, the problem is us with women, we mm. see that. So I think the woman was bringing one thing. Actually, I think she just came and, I call it cohabiting. She de she's just yeah. cohabiting with right. the man. I think she just used to bring her stuff. You know, you bring one shoe, you leave it there. You <laughs> I like you that. <laughs> and in your room, you forget it. Something you forget like that. it. So you find yourself a bit now too engaged with this man, and you, 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 you end up forgetting, and you keep thinking you're among the married, like you're actually married. And you pretend as if. You pretend as if yet, you're Yet person. there's some legal ways and they're supposed to. And you a lot of tapes. Yeah. And probably even the parents don't even know that, uh, that that's happening so many, like to many people these days, mm. campus girls especially, they, their parents think they are in school and they're actually married. Yeah, they do not give courtship enough time, isn't it? Yes, there is no time for, uh, for courtship rather. Because courtship matters a lot. Definitely. Um, th that's matter. the time you get to know that uh, the likes and dislikes of your partner, isn't it? Yes. And you then yeah, you look at them like, yes, this one I can really abide by it. This one I can't really if it does not change. I'm and just, you know, it's a very tricky time. Eh? You know, people are very good with pretending. I know. Someone I can know. pretend throughout that time of courtship. So it's a point to be very alert. And you know, there are some, you know, pretense is not there for long. Eh? People, yeah. But again, let's get to know that um, there's no perfect person. Yeah. If you're looking for a perfect, perfect partner, yeah. then you're bound to not there's actually no get anyone. Yeah, no that much I know. Yeah. So um, there are things that I know Rita can actually stand. You know, having someone and know their bad or their weakest ends and then you, you, you love them even more. Mm. It's one thing it's that can actually help you make it. Yeah, it, it makes it more. There's, there's, I've listened to Rita's letter. Mm -hmm. There's uh, at the beginning. There's I like the way she, she okay she brought it out. She said, "Me and uh, my boyfriend have a lot in common." Uh -huh. I think I'm going to stick on that because it's really so interesting. Rita, up, uh, she didn't tell us. She didn't break it down for us mm -hmm. what exactly they have in common, but uh, she told us they have a lot in common. So which means they bond, eh? They, they which kind of bonding for crying out loud? <laughs> you know, uh, let me tell you something. Mm. If we have something in common, probably we are party animals. Mm -hmm. That can't bond a relationship. 
trust me. Yes, you, you're all party animals. Yes. They, there is something that bonds a relationship and that character or personality. Probably yes. if you have any personality or character that matches with mine, yes. we can hang in there. Yes, because Isn't remember it? you're parting out, you're going out. The more time you spend together, you see, time eh, brings also the time. It's just enough to bond you. But, time. but most of the failed relationships are the ones that uh, meet probably on their ends. Uh, for example, parties, you met someone in club, you try to mm. um, date that person, make the person as a um, girlfriend or boyfriend. Such relationships at, at times mm. never, mm. never mm. work mm. out. But you see, they at times get, um, they bond somewhere mm. because they're all party <laughs> animals. <laughs> yes. They actually um, born because they are party animals. They, their thoughts are together. Their interests, they have the same area of interest. They, when someone is saying, let me go out, ah, this one is like, I'm already ready by now, let's all go out. You find there's no boredom in the relationship. They don't. So going back to Rita, Rita loves her man. Mm. That's one thing. I've listened to the whole letter. She can't live without she him. Can't, she just can't even imagine. She can't even, even just the thought of it, I think, freaks her out. She just said it. She loves her man. But the problem is, I think, I think Rita is a bit pushy. Like, just like the way she said it, that the boyfriend told her that she's being pushy. She's, she, I think she's pushy because she cannot jump. Me, Julie, I swear, if someone, like, let me say, maybe I'm taking, maybe if I'm taking, like, one bottle of beer, Mm. Uh, uh, we are a couple. Mm. I'm taking one bottle of beer, and then my husband comes, and then he says, "I'm taking you to a rehab because <laughs> because <laughs> you're drinking so much. you're drinking so much. I'm taking you to Is a that rehab. bad? Oh my God! Because the, the mm. guy doesn't like it. Yeah, I mean, so if extreme. you really love, if you really love him, you would accept, even if it, it has annoyed you. No. Do you know that? I, I can't accept it. will turn into. I feel like I think this person has turned me into a mad person. I first asked so myself you think, many unanswered questions. So you think um, Rita asking to, to take the boyfriend for a therapy, it was something it was that sparked, extreme. It was sparked extreme off the fire? Because she came out of the blue. Because, first of all, she said she, she, has, uh, she always tolerates his doubts. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. She tolerates his doubts and then she reassures him whenever he asks her about something. So that means she never tells him the truth. Like, the but, doubts but that's she tolerates. All, that's all she Why can tolerate? swallow. Why that's tolerate? All. They're not telling him that, you know, your doubts, you know, you're wrong. Those doubts are, you're doubting, or I'm faithful. She's complaining that the man doesn't believe that she's faithful. That's because she has given him a go-ahead. She reassures him when he asks. Her. Reassuring someone, you know, it means like everything is okay. It's a problem. Don't worry. Um, so it's like she's carrying a burden. She's complaining about it. So we don't. It's know. because the guy does not want to give on. Yeah. Because if the guy accepted in the first place to settle this out, talk mm. about it, and finally get a solution to actually see how they can bring back their relationship, this lovey-dovey thing, but the guy does not even want to accept the fact that there, there is a problem. Mm. Probably to sit down and talk about this problem. It has become a very big problem. She doesn't know whom to talk to because the guy doesn't even have time to speak about it. How do you expect the man to change? If I, he does not even want to want, hear. He doesn't want to hear. Doesn't want to I, hear the, the problems that are there in that kind of relationship. But she said somewhere in the letter that he's emotional. He's, he's an emotional guy. Usually emotional uh -huh. people are... What does it mean? It means someone who gets touched easily by something like... And so? So I'm thinking if, if there's anything or any problem that they have in the relationship, she fe he feels it. He's some, even if she brought up an issue, mm. he, will, he will... Even if she cries in front of him, you know, be emotional. She just, just sheds one tear. The man will be like, oh my God. I need to listen to this girl. She has a problem. Yes. That is someone who is emotional. So I think I insist. I insist. Rita, if you're watching me, Rita, you're the one who needs to take your time. Talk to your man. Because as far as I'm concerned, based on the letter that you have written, your man is someone who, who talks to you. He believes in communication. But I think you withdraw 
you keep a lot to yourself and that is creating resentment. Because he's emotional, yeah, he, he doesn't want to hear. I mean, I'm trying to come bond with you and then you're trashing me away. What can I do else? Rita should just adjust her ways and just talk to her man. Let her not carry them. But now she's she said she's renting, uh, rather working so that she gets money to pay uh, an apartment. Did she even talk to the husband about okay, that? Okay, let's look at this kind of problem in this perspective. Hmm. It's just one and a half years for crying out loud. That period small enough for you if you can't really swallow all this to move on. I think it's it's a young couple first it's and a young couple, yeah. yeah. It's a young couple, but then they are mid you're, you're, you're on the man's side, but me, uh, you're on the woman's side, but me, I'm on the man's side. Yes. I still insist that Julie lacks communication. She's the one who doesn't want to talk to the man. But again, marriage is a lifetime commitment. Who doesn't know that? I mean, going to that, you must have learned your partner very well, more than anything else. Yeah, sure. Probably get to know his likes and his um, other weakest ends, mm. what you can tolerate and what you can't before you engage yourself. And that only justifies the meaning that you are supposed to be patient. Even longer than five years because you want this commitment. It's a lifetime commitment. You cannot complain right now in just one and a half years for crying out loud. But you're supposed to be patient and see what comes later. It's just period small enough for you to complain. Very small. You cannot begin complaining right now. There are so many things that you need to learn. What brings happiness in the home? How best can you fight some small issues that um, your boyfriend has? Actually, it's still a boyfriend. Your boyfriend, yeah, boyfriend. Has, has really done. You know, there are so many things that you need to put in perspective, Rita, before you begin complain, before complaining. It's not time for you to complain right now. We have all I, the advice. We have all the advice. But as long as she doesn't also admit her mistake, mm. she can, our advice will not be of so, so much help to her. Yes. So what I add, actually uh, advise... Rita, mm. pray, prayer of course, me I believe in prayer, I believe in prayer, pray for your spouse, pray, shield him with prayer and, and face your marriage with, with prayer, that, that yes. works. Ah. Well, you're still watching Heartbeats on Record TV, my name is Judy, with Liz taking you through this later, very emotional later, very touching and you sympathize with Rita right now. We actually, um, as, uh, I know Patricia is giving us a studio line. You can actually call in. If you call in, make sure you just speak. Don't listen to us. Just say out your message. It will actually come straight, and we shall see whether it will be useful for Rita to actually carry on her relationship. Meanwhile, as we wind up, because time is also against us, let's see what are the beauties of this kind of relationship for Rita. Let's look at those good things the good of, thing. of their relationship right now. First mm -hmm. and foremost, she has accepted to live with a guy, even if she has, yes. the guy has those bad manners. She feels this is the sweetheart that they can probably live, live together. together. Yeah. She, she, she has that gift of love. It's true love in, inside Do we her. have any caller? Hello? Hello? lost that one. You can keep trying our studio line. Um, the number is right on your TV screen. Um, let us know. Give us your advice. You can advise Rita on how she can go about her relationship. Probably you could be in the same situation or someone else out there. Rita is speaking out for so many people who are in hideout and you can't actually come out to say it right now. You're also sharing this advice. Hello? Please carry on, carry on, give us your opinion. We are fine, how are you? Very fine, carry on. Sorry, if you're calling, please make sure you just speak directly. Don't listen to our voices or yourself. Just carry on, give us your advice right on spot we shall get it later if you go offline 
Well, thank you so much for calling. The studio line is right on your <coughs> TV screen. Give us your advice. Help us know how Rita can go about this kind of relationship that is almost hitting a snag. She's actually giving up however much this heart is still there. She feels like, yeah, I still <laughs> love this guy. I don't yeah. know what I can do, but really. I love him. I need to stay. But how best can I carry on this yeah, kind of relationship? Strong. Yeah, it's very, very um, bad for a person if you have love for someone and you don't receive love back. Oh, it's so it's, painful. It's very it painful. You feel like as so if it, it wasn't the right choice for you. You did not make the right choice. You hate yourself. Mm -hmm. You hate everyone around you. You know, love when you love someone and they love you back, you, you tend to love everyone around you. You tend to to be jolly all the time. So when you love someone, I, mean, I, can, I can imagine, I know Rita is going through a very, very hard time, but uh, Rita, you, you have to be, the good thing is that you love this man and you said you can't see yourself without living with Just him. a minute, hello, caller. Hello. Yes, carry on. Hello, hello carry on. We can hear you, just give us your advice. Thank you, Boaz. Thanks for that advice. Patricia, give us some more audio so that we can hear those callers. We actually have like less than two minutes <laughs> to finish up this. We'll probably yeah. give one chance to one caller out there to give us your advice. And um, um, Rita can find a way she can have this relationship intact. Who doesn't want to be in love anyway? I don't know. Do you have any caller? Yes, hello. hello. Yes, how are you? Good. <coughs> Good. Carry on, we can hear you. Yes. Thank you so much for calling, dear. <laughs> Thank you so much for calling. We appreciate. <laughs> Thanks for your advice. We have called in. Unfortunately, we cannot give any chance to any other caller because time is really against us. Um, okay, one last caller. One last caller. Hello. Hello. Yes. Hello, carry on. Hello. Yes. Okay, thank you so much. Thanks for your advice. That was our last caller. Please call us. Thank you so much for calling. We appreciate. There's so many, um, all those ones that are trying to give us advice. You're trying to call, but time is really against us. We cannot give any other person a chance. But we appreciate. Rita is also hearing right now and is watching. He's going to actually look through all that that you've said. And I'm only hoping, I'm only mm. hoping uh, the boyfriend is watching as well. Yeah, of course I'm the boyfriend hoping. has to be watching. Mm -hmm. because if I have any advice as well, I would also love to advise. It, is a, it, it was a big mind. platform for the boyfriend to watch. Probably exactly. there's a way you can tell him, uh, there's a certain program we need to watch together. Uh -huh. Seated. <laughs> only to see um, yeah, <laughs> it is the same situation they are going through and you will be shocked. But again, it will help him so much to change. However much, we've had callers from 
only the other side of the male side. We didn't hear any lady out there. I can see lines are buzzing, but we cannot take any more caller. Thank you so much for watching. Rita, take whatever we've said and make your own decision. We cannot decide for you, but there's a lot you still have to learn if you want to commit yourself with that um, a boyfriend of yours. It has been nice having you part of the show. Very unfortunate that we cannot take on any other caller, however much many of you are still calling. My name is Lays. And by the way, I have some advice for, for, some, for some little advice for the people out there. Yes. In the letter, the other, uh, Rita is saying the girls, uh, because the, the boyfriend grew up in a family where he was not loved, and uh, he tends to bring that upon yeah. her. So it's, uh, I would like to advise the people out there watching this lovely show, The Heartbeat, that your children are watching. The married couples, I'm telling you, your children are watching you. They're making lasting opinions on love, marriage, commitment. So give them hope. Don't do funny things in front of them. Let them see marriage as a beautiful institution where they, they, they're eagerly going to join in future. Mm -hmm. And then to the husband, I'd also tell the husbands out there, and you, Rita's mm -hmm. boyfriend, mm -hmm. don't, uh, you know, it's very, they, they, you know, men are very, uh, they usually love admiring beautiful women. But I want you to know that looking at a beautiful woman out there, there's someone looking after that beautiful woman so there's no need uh, to be in your fence and the grass is all yellow and you're drooling over someone's fence instead of watering your grass regularly <laughs> by the way any man any man can admire a beautiful woman but it takes a true gentleman to make a woman admirable and beautiful so and the, the women mouth mouth and advice. Let them be careful who they get advice from. Yes. Always get advice, marital advice from married people, not single people who, whose ideas are best are actually theoretical. Liz, I'm sorry to cut you short because it's of okay, time. Blessing okay. is so ready to come and take the people okay. um, through news, actually current affairs. It's been nice so having you part of the mine. show. So I, at first I introduced myself as Liz. I expect you to say my name is Judy, but <laughs> I don't know how you actually <laughs> freaked I, out. I, I don't know. No, it was it was just it was just a trick. But okay. thanks for being um, a wonderful viewer. Thanks for your company. Without you, we wouldn't have been here. Trust me, we are going to have this and so much more next week um, on Thursday at 8 p.m. My name is Judy F. Nanyazi. Keep it right there. We have news at the top of the hour with a beautiful lady, Blessing Natalinda. Let me hope I've pronounced that one right. Enjoy the rest of the night. Take care. <laughs>